Abandoned, ruined villages like this litter the landscape across much of northern Central African Republic. A silent legacy of the mutinies, coups and violent criminality that have plagued the country for years. Robert Makibabe used to live here until February 2006, when soldiers chased everyone into the bush during a counterinsurgency operation. Voici ma maison. Voici la porte principale. Et le salon est là. Et voilà la porte de la chambre et la deuxième chambre est là. Tout le monde a pris fuite. Nous sommes rentrés sans bagage dans la brousse et revenir tard le matin, très tôt. Et nous avons commencé, n'est-ce pas, à prendre euh, les nécessaires, surtout les vivres, quelques, quelques vivres pour la subsistance dans la brousse. Et c'était comme ça que nous avons quitté nos maisons, nous avons quitté et que nous nous sommes séparés de notre village. In the bush, villagers have adapted as best they can. For want of proper schools, for example, they've built makeshift classrooms like this one. Robert is a professional teacher, but most tuition in these bush schools is provided by parents with very basic training. The system in the bush is that we needed cruelly to teach. Other teachers don't want to come to the zone. Avec un, petit, un tout petit événement ou un aspect difficile qui se présente dans une ville, euh, il euh, refuse de venir. Vous le voyez vous-même, ce sont des choses fabriquées par nous-mêmes et ça ne tient pas d'ici peu de temps. Quand il y aura la saison de pluie, euh, l'école ne fonctionnera plus. Clarissa Detti has lived in the bush ever since soldiers set fire to her village one day at dawn in 2003. The troops shot her husband dead. Five of her children died in her burning hut. Lack of clean water is one of many problems facing tens of thousands of people displaced by war and banditry. A decade of violence has left this country at the bottom of almost all human development tables. Especially in rebel-held zones like this, basic services are virtually non-existent. For the past six years, Clarissa has made a home of sorts out here in the bush. Though life here is much harsher than it was in the village, she's still too scared to return. <laughs> Clarissa and her husband used to cultivate a much larger area of land with oxen. But since bandits stole the animals, she's now only able to cultivate a small patch of cassava plants. Another casualty of the chaos is health care. This is Clarissa's uncle, Philippe. His medical training only extends to first aid, but he does what he can to help his sister. In this country of four million inhabitants, there are just 330 doctors. Bon, cette femme c'est ma grande sœur directe. Bon, cette maladie, bon, c'était depuis six ans maintenant. On lui a arraché jusqu'à l'hôpital de Paua. Bon, quand les docteurs, voyaient, les docteurs voyaient comme ça, bon, ils ont donné des petits médicaments comme les antibiotiques, comme ça, presque une semaine. Bon, on a ramené ma, ma soeur là ici. Bon, ça continue à... Elle continue à se souffrir jusqu'à présent. 
Most of the health facilities in the north have been out of action for years. In the villages, there are no sanitary services. The health services are closed. The personnel who are on the health services have fled and there are no medical equipment. In much of the north, health care and other basic amenities are only available now in urban areas, such as this town called Power. On several occasions, its entire population fled in panic as rebels and soldiers clashed. Now it's bustling with life again. Pawa is where Serge Bongo, a nurse, runs a clinic. Because many of his patients travel from distant rural areas for treatment here, Serge keeps well informed about their lives. Maintenant, pour pour les gens là, les gens qui sont dans la brousse, ils commencent à quitter la brousse pour revenir dans la ville, dans dans leur village, ils reconstruisent leur maison, ils refont encore leur foyer à zéro. La décision de la PRD, ils ont dit qu'il faut que les villageois reviennent. Ceux qui refusent de revenir dans dans leur dans, dans le village, ils seront pénalisés, ils seront taxés, ils seront ils vont perdre leurs biens. Donc les villageois préfèrent revenir maintenant dans le village, ils reconstruisent leur maison et ils ont revenu maintenant par coup de force. Among those returning from the bush is Augustine and her husband and five children, with another baby on the way. She miscarried while living in the bush and is now determined not to lose another child. Still, Augustine is wary about a move that was not entirely of her own making. Augustine's new house is almost finished. Soon this village will be fully rebuilt and a semblance of normality will return. This in turn will allow local rebel leaders to make more money collecting informal taxes. What will be missing is peace of mind because people here see neither the rebels nor the army as their protectors. Nous sommes comme ça, c'est une seule Dieu qui nous garde, pas de sécurité. <coughs>